Uh, what is going on, buddy? Hello! It is Pegasus Buddies here, and welcome back to Metaphor Refantasio. When we left off, we have conquered the abandoned tomb, grabbed all the treasure, even the bad ones from inside, <laughs> and uh, we're gonna go back home in a bit. But first, I'm gonna stop by more because off camera, oh, I did the things that I was supposed to be doing. Yeah! I, I, How did the I, comment I, section handle that, by the way? Uh, that doesn't seem like anyone got too upset. Okay. But now, I wonder if anyone text. else has made that mistake. I mean, there's so many things trying to keep track of. Sometimes I feel like if you're not looking at everything all the time. Yeah, and going purely based off of memory, you're like, I think this yeah. is it. Because the, just... the previous one was the gunner, but it didn't have to be leveled up at all. So we were, we got that one instantly, which mm. threw me off a little But it seems to be a good move. I just noticed the little Yeah, the thing. little yeah, bowl. Dish. I think he likes you. I think so, too. I like him. All right. What kind of magical Would you look at this? Dr drink does, does, does <laughs> Plateau have in there? I don't know. It's the whole galaxy inside there. Galaxy milk. I see you've cultivated the merchant. Another task done. At this rate, you'll be able to stand against Luis, nemesis to our ideals. Incredible. Let's go. And again, imagination. Right. Plateau consumes galaxies. <laughs> Confirmed. Galaga, no, look out. <laughs> Thanks to you, I've recalled an important memory. It concerns the fantasy novel. Oh. Oh, I want to hear this. Tell us, what do you remember? I was once on a journey myself, like you. I passed through many different cities in the course of my travels. In truth. As I journeyed, I wrote all of my experiences, and this travelogue became a foundation of my fantasy novel. Is that so? <sighs> yes. The fantasy novel is all the hopes and dreams of my travels, made manifest. I've also learned and endured painful truths. They've served to remind me just how important dreams are to our lives. <laughs> if that novel has been a source of support for you, the pain of writing it was worth it. I'm kind of over it. Oh my it. god, no. <laughs> it's meant a lot. Yeah. Right. It's helped me through a lot. Thank you. It's helped our friends, too. Yeah. <laughs> I am most glad to hear it. In truth, this is the first time I've met a reader of my work. Hmm. Still, how nostalgic. I completely forgotten of my travels. I wonder if those I met in the outside world then are all faring well. I hope one day I may live beneath the same sky as them once more. But I shudder to think of the eternal solitude you saved me from. That I can feel like a semblance of myself again is all thanks to you. At first my reasons are purely selfish, but I'd like to be of help to you. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Cool! Should go around asking people if they've Met a very pale Made man with <laughs> long hair named Moore. Yeah. Uh, allows you to preview all abilities of followers from the main menu. Okay. Find an old person. I met him about 200 years ago. <laughs> would be like, what? <laughs> Truly, you seem like a subject worthy of research yourself, huh? Now then. Now then, let us widen our scope for the next research test by expanding your studies to a larger variety of archetypes. Seek more heroic embodiments and absorb their lessons. In doing so, your own virtues will become even more prominent. This one's important. Okay. I should study 15 different archetypes. I might be close to that because of a few that I've leveled up. Hmm. I can hardly wait. I wonder what I'll remember next. My research isn't the only thing I look forward to now. That memory itself is a prize to be unveiled. What if we have him remember mm. things he's not supposed to remember, and then he becomes a bad guy? Well, won't that be fun? <laughs> um. Okay, it doesn't look like I've done it, because he would have the little Why symbol not? there. How many do I have, then? So, between many of us, I technically have, because he, it's not each tree, each every single little dot counts. So we have one, mm -hmm. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I need two more. Yeah. We either discover two more friends or unlock a couple of these with extra rank. Like if we get to hang out with Galica soon, that'll help. Yeah. Um, For that one, I need more of what's her face coming to fucking fight us. Oh. <laughs> Katharina. Yeah, and then there's something that's hidden behind. The, I got, I we have to get, uh, it's whatever evolves beyond the merchant. Uh, Brigitte's got to be up to rank 20, and then something else we haven't discovered has to be rank 20 as well. Damn. And then that requires, uh, Nearest to be at rank 3, so we've got to keep a lookout for his Brigitte little mini has to be rank 20? 
How's uh, that no, possible? Rank, Brigitte rank 8, Merchant rank 20. Oh, you said Brigitte <laughs> 20. And I was like, huh? I meant to say rank 20 for the archetype tied <sighs> to her. And then she has to be rank 8. Also, I thought it was Brigitte. No, it's Brigitte. It's Brigitte? <laughs> yeah. Okay. We it had just, this conversation before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it just sounds like it could be both. <laughs> yeah. Well, I would like to return to town. Okay, then. Let's leave. It's like that's it's like a A A Ron. <laughs> yeah. A A Ron. Brigitte. Timothy. <laughs> Present. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Let's go party about what we did. Are we gonna have a nice feast and talk about things? Gang's all here. Yeah. Back to the Martyr Tavern. Let's report back. We found that we found the ring the shady Kukulus. Kukulus. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get confirmation of it I again. I think it's Kukulus. Yeah. I wanted it. Let's let him know soon, and maybe we'll finally be able to get Rius' dagger back. Can we really trust him, though? He conveniently forgot to tell us that the place was full of fake treasure chests. No denying that, but if we want the dagger back, what choice do we have? Yes. We must swallow our suspicions for now, as we have few alternatives. Regardless, we shouldn't drop our guard around that one. Oh, hold on. What should we talk about? Ooh. Fighting other candidates, because we oh, did do that. Yeah. <laughs> That Goddard sure is stubborn. Still, though, I guess time hasn't been very kind to him. Damn, Galica! Come now, he's lived twice as long as we have. Though I hope to age more gracefully than that. <laughs> he's a role model of a kind. Perfect example of what not to turn into. <laughs> Damn. Such you age like fine wine as I have. Was that a joke? <laughs> Hold on. Uh, Damn. Let's, let's get some rest, everybody. You're let's so not get so saucy, shade. okay? Ten huh. days left until we depart. We've got to apprehend Morris and get the truth of these abductions out of him before we go. Somehow. He claims to be driven by greed, but that excuse rings hollow to my ears. There are undoubtedly larger motives behind these abductions. Feeling worn out. <laughs> you all look like, uh, Yeah, you all look like they've been put through the ringer. <laughs> You've got a ring and it's time for you the ringer. <laughs> Nothing like food for us to fuel of mind and body, eh? Uh, uh, I'd say we earned our rest today. Good job. Pass out in the food. You no. Know? <laughs> she could. Yeah, probably, Time yeah. Marches on, we all use it as a pillow. She uses it as a bed. No. <laughs> a bed of mashed potatoes. <laughs> What's that there? You're just instantly like, no. I don't like I that. I hear a voice. Oh. I think I'm just a bother to Miss Fabienne. No. Maria comes to mind. Maybe she go talk with her. Uh -oh. All right, so I have probably you know, this is two ways to do this because there's two question wow. marks there, huh? What? Because the two question marks thing. Yeah, I know one of them is going to be uh, Kukulis, <laughs> but the other one maybe they'll also be unlocked with him. Hmm. What other voices do I potentially hear? Eyes may doesn't want to hang out yet. Maria's there. It's just her. <laughs> I wonder. Well, no, because it wouldn't be new. It would say Katharina, because like, people probably tried to run into a runner out there in the wild, mm. which might be the only way to. Maybe that's how you have to do it, is to find her runner and, like, you know, follow her on the Fight path. Her. <laughs> but uh, do I want to get Maria done? I'll, I'll turn in and get a new uh, one over here. There could also be one done, a new one, if people uh, finished the the main mission mm. before instead of anything else that might unlock someone also oh god what did I do? you kind of did milo for this one your, your, I did your my current dnd &D &D character <laughs> but this is kind of you actually managed to retrieve malveno's ring that is impressive it took you for talent to no, i'm just he's just getting too close to fucking <laughs> but you're more of a gem than i thought a gem anyway don't forget your end of the bargain of course. I already looked into it. In fact, I can go to your dagger back right now. What do you say? Well, then. All right, come with me. Stay hidden and let me do all the talking. Greetings. Yeah, Mr. Haliant, yes? Are you on behalf of your father back in your hometown? You see, he's collapsed. It's that frightful illness that... What? You weren't aware? The truth is... Well, this illness requires a very specific herb to treat. We need only to Virgil Island. Now, if the travel expenses were taken care of. Huh. Name stole dagger seemed to be completely believed. Cuckoo is a clever story. Well, then. 
Yes, just the dagger then. I'll make arrangements to procure the herb. Then you can take it to him. <laughs> I've recovered your dagger, though he hadn't... He, though he'd have given me the clothes off his back if I'd asked. I figured you'd not approve of that. It's a lie, by the way, about his father being sick. But his town is so far away, it'll be long gone before he finds out. Anyway, here. Yeah. Wow! <laughs> well, thank you. This charlatan... I don't know what kind of guy you are. Damn! All right. That deception at the wasp. Right. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go. I'm popular now. But of course. No need to thank me. The efforts you went to far exceed mine. You've no idea if this ring's importance to me. With this, everyone will finally be free. Oh, what does that mean? Free? I appreciate it. Oh, nothing. Anyway. Truly, I thank you, and to show you my thanks, please allow me to help you. I can see it already. You're the real deal, the one truly fated to be our next king. And I can see, too, that you need my winning strategies to do it. Huh. Yeah, hang on. Let me guess. Your winning strategy is that smooth talking you demonstrated earlier? I don't think we need any con artist training, thank you. <laughs> Come now, deception is far more of an art than you know. I have something of a knacker for it, for it, you see. You're kind, honest, to a fault, really, and for an upstanding chap like you to become king, you'll need someone versed in darker, grayer areas. Someone like me. Be that as it may. Of course, my guidance doesn't come without strings. This is business. You'll give me information. Information about the places you visit, trends in the tournament, or the royal magic. Hmm, I mean... If that's all you want, then... <laughs> <laughs> now we're talking. In that case, I need to let you in on one thing first. My oh. real name is Alonzo. Anyone calling me Kuklis is one of my remarks. <laughs> oh. Let me forget that name altogether. <laughs> what? Huh? What's with this guy? I like the cut of your jib. Huh. <laughs> to a tavern where I told Alonzo all that's happened so far. Then we parted ways. Remember those winning strategies I mentioned? Well, the first lesson starts now. I imagine you've led a rather rough life, considering the tribe you hail from. Yes. The world is full of unsavory sorts. That's why if you want to improve your life... Become a liar like me. <laughs> you must never show a scoundrel mercy. Oh. If you're made a fool, you must pay it back in spades. Kindness is weakness, and the weak get robbed blind. Well, I'll keep that in mind. I'll keep that in mind. I mean, he's unfortunately <laughs> not wrong. No. Regard this not as the art of deception, but rather how to steal hearts. Stealing hearts. Morally sound way, of course. Morally <laughs> sound way of stealing hearts. <laughs> Are you a fan of Thief? <laughs> <laughs> he's not trustworthy, but he does seem clever. Maybe we can use Lonzo's technique's battle for the throne. Now, what a kind of choice? Hmm. <gasps> the faker? Oh, I forgot that was one of the things. Yeah, that could be it. The devious schema. Uh -huh. Yeah. Within him dwells the virtue of the faker. Nurture thy bond with him, and a new power yet slumbering within thee may awaken. Okay. Now what does that look like? That's what we're going to find what out. Does it do? I assumed you were but a momentary distraction. But there's more to you than that. Well, thank you. Boop. All right. He's so interesting. <laughs> it's number 14. Cool. So if we can finish up with Maria, we'll have 15 because that'll get us the next level of mage. Mm. Right? No, it's Galica. Fuck. We need, <laughs> we need Maria to go up to like level eight to upgrade the healer past cleric. Yeah. But uh, the faker, there's a, a huh. uh, of course, a, that's a jester. That's, that's fucking, like a jester, yeah. That's fucking Jevil over there. <laughs> Who wears the crown next matters little to me. But if it's you, I wager it'll be quite a ride. Thanks. I'll be <laughs> heading to Brylehaven after this. Let's meet again there. We'll meet again. I love his hair. I love him. He's great. It's like trans. It's I like love the chaos there. It's, it's... <laughs> hmm. Back to the tavern. Uh, of course, no one wants to do anything. Oh, I spoke too soon. <laughs> And then him, we've got to find a way for that to activate at some point. But. Alonzo. He Alonzo. Can, he confuses <laughs> me. 
<laughs> in what way? Every way. <laughs> okay, that's all I needed. I don't know how I feel about him. <laughs> oh? Doubt I'll ever see him again. Like me? I guess so. Or someone else. Are you having boy problems? <laughs> what am I to do? Boy problems. <laughs> so it's you. You seem unscathed. Sorry. Sorry if you're looking for work. There's nothing here for you. So just go home. Did something happen? <sighs> Come inside. Careful with your words now. I... <laughs> Will set you on fire. Unfortunately, I no longer have any work for you. The dog is no longer here. She ran away. Did she run away? Would have been preferable to the truth. Uh oh. Did they find out? But no, she was taken. Fuck! It wasn't me. I swear. Sorry. I know you kept your silence as promised. Unfortunately, they didn't stop a thief from sneaking in disguise as a vendor and taking her away. I'll kill them. <laughs> They left behind a letter that read, Those who spread magic igniters shall face the wrath of God. I'll kill them all. It's not hard to imagine what happened to her. I'll find the culprit before long, and I'll make certain they get what they deserve. However, this isn't, is, isn't the work of a single person, but that of a larger organization. I'll show them the fear of God. <laughs> Those people. Anti-igniter extremists. A bunch of filthy, rotten cowards. I'll rip their spines out. <laughs> oh my god. The pup was innocent in all this. Shouldn't have kept her. The moment I start caring about anything, I lose it. I knew that. I tried to keep my feelings out of it. Why did this have to happen? Kitty seems to be fighting through the pain. Me too! No. For how long must I live in this hideous world? If only I had disappeared instead. Tears or not, I can sense the pain, sadness, and frustration Brigitte is feeling. Words would be of little comfort here. Perhaps if I stirred her imagination, she would be relieved of such despair. Do I ha- uh... Oh. Oh, the, the, oh we're going what? in the book. A book? I told Brigitte about the fantasy world depicted my book, trying to give her e even the faintest glimmer of hope. Oh? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, people will help one another, respect one another, and live in equality. How quaint. <laughs> The author was a sheltered man, I take it. Well? He knows nothing of the real world. He is quite sheltered right now, actually, <laughs> yeah. so good call. <laughs> but he, he was writing it while he was traveling, ironically. Yeah. The only equality is that we all inevitably die. Oh. The path to that point is different for everyone, meaning everyone has to fight through their own hell. I don't think so. That's not true. You're an elder. You live in a world that hates you. How can you still make yourself believe in light, even through all that? Because I've learned it from my godly magic, uh, kingly <laughs> magic, royal magic, king or queen. I can't see that light myself, but I know you can, and I really do want to believe in you and your vision. Since Brigitte's profound sadness and her grasping, to, and her grasping to trust. Man, she's been through it. Where's the dog? I will murder everyone. That tempts me. I'll oh fucking murder boy. everyone on the street to find that dog. E Evan. In game. In game. <laughs> In game. In game. In any case. Here's your pay. I've included what I set aside for your future shifts, too. I'll keep visiting. I'll still keep visiting, Brigida. Why? She's gone. I have no more work to give you. What's left for you here? Oh, I'll find her. You don't need to come here anymore. Don't be like that. Mm. Left him without another word. Damn. Jesus. Time marches on. I'm gonna rescue that dog. I thought they were gonna give me a mission, but if not, I'm still gonna find that dog. <laughs> I don't play kindly to that game. Hey. Oh. A Valmo who appeared in the mine. <laughs> It, who appeared? Has. Has appeared. Where to get who from? I don't know. It's too dangerous to keep mining work going while it's around, so the miners will lose their jobs if it sticks around. I said around twice. I've heard talk of that as well. The beast is supposed to be holed up in a location known as Magnus Grotto. In these times, losing one's livelihood is often a matter of life and death. And there's no telling who might become the next direct victim of this Valmo. I suppose... Too serious enough that a bounty was issued. 
We ought to solve the problem ourselves and with haste. Right, right. Didn't we accept it? Yeah, that's yeah. the uh, that was the bounty that we have. That's because I think I remember them talking about it before. Yeah. Let me see. Oh, Maria. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh, that. yeah that. Let's go fix this. We should talk. We need to talk. We need to have a talk. We need to start bullying everyone who bullies her. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh shit, that's right. No, I need to talk to her to find yeah. the child. You. Do you have a moment? There's something I wanted to ask you. It's about Maria. Please go ahead. Sorry. Sorry, I know you must be busy. Not at all. <laughs> you. I'll come out and ask. Did you say something to Maria? I mean, I've said many things, but... Since your last visit, she's been acting rather odd. She insists on helping me with anything and everything, no matter what it is. <laughs> uh, I may have an idea. About that. I may have an idea why. Oh. I'm happy that she wants to help me out, but at times it feels like she's desperate to find something to do. Uh -oh. Why, you little wretch! Look what you've done! Uh -oh. Well, wait. So why are you raising your voice at a child? This damn brat spilled me drink down my leg. Are you idea of service, Fabian? I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, she oh. did. <laughs> well, keep your britches on, wet as they are. Leave them at the door later for cleaning, and I'll get you another drink on the house. <laughs> <sighs> Apologies, but could you take Maria upstairs? Right. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. Oh boy. Uh, I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Listen. You don't have to apologize. But it's all my fault. Um, by the way. Miss Fabian was busy talking to you, so I thought I could help out by taking care of that customer. I I just wanted to show Miss Fabian that I can carry both the food and drinks now. D do you think Miss Fabian will get rid of me? Does she not want me here anymore? <laughs> she would never abandon you. No, no. She wouldn't abandon you. She wants you to stay here. But, but Papa did. He left me all alone. Oh. May I come in? Please help. It's all right. Yeah, we. She needs to hear it straight from her. <laughs> yeah. Instead of just us. Yeah. Oh, come now. Wipe those tears. That scary customer's already left. Everything's just fine now. Oh. Miss Fabienne, I'm, I promise I'm I'll be a good girl from now on, really, and I won't cause any more trouble, so please. Even if we're not family, can I still stay with you? Maria. Oh, my Maria. Is that what you've been thinking this whole time? <laughs> Of course you can stay here. You needn't worry about earning your keep behind the silly girl, because this is your home. Maria, I may not be your mother by blood, God rest her soul. But nonetheless, you are still my most precious treasure. My family, and I consider you a daughter. Well, <sighs> Miss Fabian? Okay. Now you listen here. Your papa never abandoned you. He did everything he did because he truly, deeply cared about you. He worked to protect everyone. Yeah. He worked hard to protect everyone, above all else. He's a hero. <laughs> that he did. And even if we can't see him anymore, I know without a doubt that he's watching over all of us. All he ever did was ask about you. He regretted every moment he had to spend away from you. And it would have made him so happy to see you grow up. But more than anything, he wanted to give you a world where you could smile and laugh with your whole heart. You helped your papa too, by giving him the strength to keep going. Me too. I feel the same way as he did, Maria. If you're with me, I can weather any storm. That's why... This place is your home and always will be. Rest assured, my dear girl, we have plenty of days filled with smiles and laughter ahead of us. It's alright. You can come to me with anything. The things that make you happy or sad, or if you just want to talk about your papa. I'll always be here. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Thank you so much, mister. I'm glad that I'm home. <laughs> and I'm with my family. Let's go. Let's get this bread, yeah. gamers. Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? 
<laughs> I'm gonna teach you all of the lingo. No. Get out right now. <laughs> <laughs> One day you're gonna learn how to res all the boys. Okay. <laughs> I can really stay. Increase post battle XP. Ooh. And now we've got speed cooking. Time will not elapse while cooking in the runner's kitchen. We can make food all the boys when we're in the kitchen. Or the girls. Or no one. Or no one. Or all of them. Or all of them, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I came to you for help. Would you mind checking in on Maria from time to time and see how she's doing for me? Oh, right. About that scary customer from before. He's banned now. No. Let's go. He was only in a bad mood because he recently lost his job and he got into a, a row with his wife. Sounds about right. He thought about what he said before he went home and he was sorry for yelling at you like that. He wanted to apologize to you himself, Maria. I see. Oh, okay. I think I get it now. You have to say what you mean out loud or else no one will know. Yes. <laughs> yes. That means that there's more that I can do. <sighs> now, my little treasure, go and wash up. Before bed, how about you help me taste test some new dishes? Thank you. Mister, thank you so much for everything today. See you later. Bye bye. Say goodbye to Marie and probably in return to the group. Ah, oh, goodness. All right. She really had to have that talk with Maria, like, big time. Yeah, it only took long enough to make that happen. Mm -hmm. All right, probably no one available to do anything. Nope. But what I will do is um, All right, then. try and get... Uh, can I go to the runner from here? I can probably go Let's here, because right I forgot away. about the things for the day of the experience and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, it's not Idol's Day, so that's not going to do anything, but I can use the washroom for a whopping hundred experience. Oh, also, doesn't this mean we only need one more thing? Because remember, you're counting, we had 13 on the, the Yeah, when we got now Faker, we... we got 14. Yeah. So hopefully soon we can get 15, which might come after doing the dungeon and Galka ranks up one, or if we find out who the mysterious other one is. So am I allowed to cook, like, right now, or is it only while traveling? Hmm. Uh, there are notes here about new potential recipes. Ooh. Oh, oh God, oh you've gosh. missed so many. Okay. Huh. Ooh, there's some chunky ones Critical here. Critical meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> that increased crit rate for all allies for three turns. Ooh, that sounds like your kind of thing. Uh, This one, uh, spicy dish, uh, restores 400 HP and cures burn for one ally. Damn. So that's fucking crazy. Uh, that restores 250 HP and cures poison for all allies, and I have one of those. Huh. Um, invisible noodles, gain immunity on the field for 60 seconds. Uh, all party members graduate recover HP while walking dungeon for 60 seconds. Mm. The meatballs, though. Yeah, if I can... For th all allies for three turns, that's pretty big. Yeah, I think I have enough to where I can make one of these. Does it seem to be working? Really? The runner isn't generating ah, any power okay, right yeah, now. So. Let's try it again when we're on the road. That answers that. All right, so we do have to be going. Right. Okay, so uh, let me go ahead then. So the runner has to be Let's running. Go. Yeah, we have to be traveling to be able to utilize it. So. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Um, I want to do this so we can see uh, about the faker and actually unlock it now. Oh, yeah. Because before we only just saw the picture of it. Now we can unlock the faker. Officially. Come on. I guess new stuff. Oh, I just Hello. realized. What? That the image of Moore holding the little book sitting yeah. there is when he was sitting there in real life writing the story. Hmm. Yeah. That's what I think that is. And that's why when we open the book that he wrote next to it, that's how we can connect to him. Yeah. So the faker possesses many skills that lower opponents' stats and can also perform powerful actions with throwing knives. I see. Ooh. Okay. It oh, looks is, so cool. That is expensive. 61 MP. Ooh, oh, that's ooh, that's a risky one. Turn it's icons expensive. added or removed at random? Yeah, so that could either be really good for you or really bad for you. As a chance of flicking and forget, it's not even guaranteed. As a chance of flicking and forget, and then it makes fucking shit go crazy after that. But, uh, I love the way it looks, it. though. Yeah. <laughs> this right here. <clears throat> All right. It's your freaking buddy was out of the 
a revelator, one who breathes new life and old values by virtue of keen insight and masterful wit. That's what I'll call it. <laughs> Let's awaken it. I'm counting on you. Of course. <clears throat> All right. What it speaks volumes about us <laughs> when he, what you see is Jevil, and the first thing that I think of is Fizzerali from Hell of a <laughs> 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 kids! <laughs> 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 oh, we're in the heart! The tempers anxiety into strength! Oh no, I'm God, gonna fucking no. die if I keep doing You'll, that. <laughs> you're... <laughs> You're not Alex Brightman, don't kill your voice. <laughs> if thou art a vader, embrace the unknown and sell chaos into thy opponent's hearts, I'll bestow upon thee art soul, the soul of the fake. Okay, okay, okay. God. <laughs> All right, fascinating, a fascinating power that befuddles enemies. <laughs> well, that's a lot to test out. I may even have fun. New skills, oh new possibilities. Nah, I ain't putting that shit on. <laughs> but it's an interesting one. An interesting I love one, the design, though. It's a very nice design. Uh, and then the next one takes rank eight on that and 23. So that's going to be an end game one. Okay. And I noticed here before, it'll be interesting that there's only one of these that has four, which is, uh, Hulkenberg's after the magic huh. knight and it splits in half. There's a main one that just needs a magic knight at I 20. wonder if one of them's like a holy knight, you know, maybe that could do like light stuff, maybe. I mean, maybe, but this one seems because this one requires something else that we don't Ooh, know yet. That, I just see smoke evaporating off of the back of it, and I'm terrified. That looks like a freaking like Ghost Rider thing going on. <laughs> yeah, that one will be interesting to uh, see what's going on. Whatever the other one that's required to make progress in that is, because mm -hmm. whatever it is, we have not discovered it yet. But Horsemen of the Apocalypse. To worry about another time. <laughs> oh God. Can you imagine? <laughs> I'm leaving. Yeah. All right, bye. <laughs> I gotta go bye. do something with my life. I'm probably gonna see if I can, because now I can do many things. Uh, spend time with Nearest. Oh. All right then. I wonder if that's from people taking a while to try and do the thing. Eyes may really. I haven't been able to hang out. They might be on. If they're doing that, some of them have to be on the. But. Eismay doesn't want to... Some of it may also All come right. down to having beaten the main right, plot dungeon. Yeah. Because that will advance various things. I think that might be what Heisman is locked behind, potentially. Because he doesn't even have the symbol that he wants to do anything uh -huh. right now, which means that his is at a at a stop of sorts. Yep. Because we got to find another treasure of some kind to get his going forward. And that forward. means traveling... Why yeah, because I think for the most part when you're in the quest thing. Does it know about that? That's not his. Uh, relic search inventor's bequest. So that's just find relics. Just find them. Yeah. <laughs> that one may take a guide at some point if I don't, don't just stumble upon them. Yeah. All right. What is my weakest royal virtue right now? They all look very close. Yeah, eloquence and tolerance are like in a wake. They're all like towards the middle of two, but I think tolerance and eloquence are both a little low. So let yeah. me try and uh, now what am I to do? I I'll know. try and speak on the podium if I can get there, which I think is Oh yeah, this are way. we able to talk now? That's what I'm hoping is that now that we have, you know, a little bit of something were tongue -tied. on it. Yeah. I'm hoping that we'll be able to do that now. So, excuse me. What will I do here? Yeah, be quiet. Damn. <laughs> that was me. Right. Also, how's this whole thing going? We want to send his rock vault faces. Uh, yeah, we came to see the king's rock. Hang on. What if we'd like to see the rock? Just a quick peek, and then we'll leave. I see. Do I see my little face as a dot anywhere? A dot. <laughs> the crier said that stones had appeared around the world, and they weren't wrong. That means wherever we are, we'll be able to know the rankings. That's handy. Oh. First is Forden, then second is Luis. The support they earned is kind of overwhelming. Even after a human rampage in front of the Grand Cathedral, Luis is following as strong as ever. If anything, he's more popular? This goes to show how dis dissatisfied people were under the previous king. And we don't handle this smart if we don't handle this smartly, Luis could very well end up king. But no, we've gotta stop that from happening at least. I'm sure Forden's going to be making a move too. I hear a voice from somewhere. Oh. 
Thou who art destined to become king. Really? Locus of his people's support, great custodian of their anxieties. At the foot of this monumental stone, who their feelings gather as mad. Is in <laughs> thy hands now. To thee, by thy daily standing accumulated, by which thy growth is empowered, this mag is henceforth entrusted. Woo! How much was that? Oh, seven thousand. I guess that's from my Dang. popularity growth because I haven't touched that since the beginning. Yeah. To the king's majesty, fixes the highest ranking candidates have appeared on the gigantic stones. Yep. All right. Amount of mag equals people's faith in the protagonist will accumulate at coronation rocks. You can collect days worth of accumulation at once. Higher protagonist popularity is the more mag there is to be collected, and be proactive in resolving people's requests to gain popularity. Nice. I'm trying my best. And now we know where we stand. Shall we get back to it? Yeah, I'm going to stand on the podium. Get off of there. It's my turn. Okay, oh Roger. God. Roger. As your king, I swear to abolish taxes, laws, taxes, and anything else that restricts our freedom will be abolished. Uh, those are pretty wild campaign promises. Why don't you put your word against theirs in a debate? You can make them see the future you're, you're envisioning. I'm sure you'll win some favor. Easier said than done, but we can't pass up this chance. That's why we couldn't before, because there was no one to debate with. Yeah, my eloquence and my imagination should increase, so it's both. Ooh, if it goes well, you might even get some donations. Don't want to give it a shot? Okay, I will. Oh my, how interesting. <laughs> Are you not the candidate who caused a ruckus at the opening ceremony? I hear you'll help anyone in need. A bit starry-eyed, I'd say. But perhaps you've come to pitch your ideals against mine. <laughs> of course, I encourage you to exercise your freedoms and challenge me. Are you tired of being oppressed? Of Hear course. me! Are we not all enlightened to the sweats entitled. of our own... Entitled to the sweat of our own brow? Why then, to accept the tyranny known as taxes, it is theft by another name used to fund the machinations of the elite. Why should benefit the poor lines and... The, the poor lines, the pockets of the powerful instead? Why should the fruits of our blood, sweat, and tears make the fattened swine grow fatter still? The system must be abolished. He's right, my earnings should go to me and me alone. You can take I this don't want to pay something. tax as much as the next bloke, but this may not work out as he thinks it will. I'm just playing the crowd's bottom line. How should I appeal? <sighs> Definitely not that one. Um... <laughs> Hmm. Taxes are supposed to benefit us all. Hmm. Because of fulfilling countries' needs, you know, taxes help benefit, you know, infrastructure and whatnot. If they're being spent correctly. Maybe put it that way. I mean, there's only one way that says that's what I'll yeah. have to try and go with it. So like, but what about the country? Taxes are not a one-way street. They benefit all in the long run. You mean we must fund this Commonwealth insurance? No, this is a personal feeling your finance reserves cannot sustain you in hardship. <laughs> so in an emergency, only the rich folks who've been holding money are going to survive. Taxation to fund a world where everyone helps one another. A bit on the nose, but it sounds like something a hero king would come up with. Brilliant. Okay. Well, well, look at you. Damn, have uh, I truly lost this? Well, I'll give you credit for your promise today. Ha <laughs> ha. I did it. <laughs> I'm a king in training. I knew it. That was a great debate just now. You left the other candidate speechless. People appreciated what you said. They wanted to show their support by giving you a little something. E. Two thousand five hundred dollars. <laughs> it doesn't feel like you improved your eloquence and imagination. Okay, you. This right. <laughs> you got. Oh wow! Look at all that. Okay, mostly eloquence, but a, I mean, Ooh. I'll take one. I'll take just an extra piece of imagination. That's fine. I didn't yeah. expect that. I thought it'd just be an eloquence podium, uh -huh. but. All right. And my popularity nice. goes up by it, too. Let's go, dude. The new king draws nearer. All right. It's Idol's Day. Ooh, sales. Now I can poop for luck. What should we do? Stop. <laughs> I mean, it's true. Don't do All that. All right. Free time events are done. You sure you don't want to check? Check what? Shops. All right. I mean, there's... Let's go. Because I remember I looked before there was anything that ever stood so out as a massive improvement We haven't gotten loot in a very me. long time. We got numerous loots last time no, <laughs> when I, we were just I, in I the mean, dungeon I there. mean weapons that we use. Hey. 
you being we've all got we've gotten things for stuff for the gunner and the not even not even gunner we've got stuff for the brawler and like maybe the merchant and we, we we've been getting weapons for things that we're not actively using right now that's my point hmm. okay this one could be interesting I may try and throw this on uh Ooh. what's his face down there his recluse's clothes apparently last for evasive movement there's only one of these so I'll go ahead and buy it and I'll throw yeah. it on you maybe that'll help him only get one of those um because hmm. this current thing is pretty good because his evasion is in one step above what this is and uh his defense will go up a little bit but his current one reduces damage from being hit by your weakness and that's the only improvement that anyone could mm. make on one of these okay this could be interesting for a lot of people all stats plus two wow hmm could especially be helpful for me but let's see what others have on as i buy it uh, I have nothing that goes anything crazy for me, so, uh... Ooh, but for him... Uh-huh. Ah, but his evasion goes down as well. Oh. Hmm. Well, that I one's mean... a toughie. Uh... I'll put him fine. on him. You said that's um, fine. <laughs> that's fine. I don't need anything else. Nothing else is really good, and that's the only thing I get on that one, so... That's that. Oh, I need to get rid of, uh, hold on. Listen, uh, also, oh god, I have so many oh. things to appraise. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, sure. Strike That's listen. nothing. Nice little bow. Oh, pole arm. Don't want that. Uh, maybe one of these days I'll try and go through the stuff off camera that won't do anything for us. Hmm. Endurance plus four. I know who could benefit from that. Mm -hmm. The evasion goes down, but the endurance and defense is both uh, uh, indeed. pretty nice on that. So, okay. Strength plus one, magic plus one. Hmm. I mean, I can put that on because it looks like nothing else yeah. is going on with my stuff, I think. Forget me nots! Hmm. Prevents forget, okay. And a frost igniter to have a little bit of ice. Okay. Huh. Cool. Uh, and I can sell all my garbo. Yeah. All right, bye. Thank you, sir. Mm. Ah! I'm stuck on the shield. Man, Here we, go. we didn't find any swords. Well, that's a different shop. Yeah. I mean, with the appraising. Oh, yeah, there was nothing crazy over there. So let's see if Go you have anything. Today. Hello, I sure hope you do. <laughs> um, so that doesn't do anything for us. That's for a different Yeah. Uh That's for a seeker. So yeah. that shit could be useful for us eventually. Increases damage against demi human type monsters. Oh interesting. I'll just buy it. To have it handy and put it on when we have a seeker. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, because that's pro that's probably just for uh, thieves. So, oh yeah. god damn it! So, and those are all. Hmm. It's an abacus. That's. I know uh, we have a couple abacuses. Yeah. Understood. Question is if I would use one enough to justify putting down forty-four thousand gold yeah, on one. Yeah, that's a lot. Oh, it has all stats plus Because if I use two. one, it could be hand. Who's that for? That's for one that we don't, uh... We don't whoever have Whoever uses that, like, pole arm of sorts. Huh. We don't have that yet. Increase the damage against Mimic time. That would have been handy before, but I feel like that's now past. It's uh -huh. its use. So, uh... Alright, I'll go ahead and get out of here with Oh, that. remember, we can go to the church and get our thing... We um, can. Purified. Oh, so I'll like. go ahead and do that. A little bit of a... Not what I want. A bit, a bit, a bit, a bit, a the go. church. There we go. You wow. didn't remember that, did you? I forgot about that. There's just so many things around You're here to welcome. keep track of. Thank you. 
Hi. Purify. I'm gonna purify a couple things. Uh, oh, so that'll purify his weapon. We have to keep track of also... Because it does take items when I purify something. So mm. I can't just go on all of them. I will do that one. Because that'll make him better. And then I will do the staff that I got. Yep. Increase the strength of all magic. Don't fucking test me, bro. <laughs> I ain't taking right. none of your shit. Um, you I'll go back to the town, think about what I want to do next. Uh, go. Just go to the thoroughfare square, quick. Because you can't really do anything freedom time-wise. Can you imagine going? everyone in the church just watch us teleport? <laughs> what the fuck was this black magic? That was literally the worst place you could have done right. that in I if know, there right? were repercussions. Like, yeah. two. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty awful to do that there. <laughs> First place. Oh man. Uh, spend time with Troll. People pro were probably behind on that, or if they've pushed forward in the story enough, yeah. it may allow them to do more things. What? Milk the cow? Right, Five percent. Milk the cow. I guess there must be a cow around here right. to milk. I mean, we saw it before, but I don't know we could do anything. Yeah, I think maybe it was because we were in the middle of something, but. I think it's gonna be down the one by Cattle Racket Road down there. Yeah. It's probably that little thing down there. Okay. Um. I wonder hmm. what that does. Uh, it looks like that was. Uh. Not eloquence, but what's the heart one? Tolerance. Oh, it's about tolerance. Being open minded. Okay, so if there are a couple things we need to do. You tolerate milking a cow. <laughs> The real kidnapper we got some time for. Save the prince, you know, the classic stuff. Uh, that's the main... The classic stuff? You know, saving the prince, classic. <laughs> classic. <laughs> uh, relic searching. We can try and do the man-eater mine, or we can push the story forward a little more. Man-eater. <laughs> <laughs> and the man-eater. I was thinking about the Lethal Reference Company. Reference the Lethal Company stream yep. that we did. Um... You know, I think we'll start heading to that to get All that right, done. But eh, is that what I want to do? Ah, decision paralysis. Yeah. Like, should we do the main thing or should we, you know, do the side stuff or unleash <laughs> ourselves into further madness? I mean, we could do the the thing they were talking about. What thing? Um, uh, at, at breakfast about that bounty we uh took. Yeah, that that would be the man eater grotto. We could do so, that and then continue monsters. with the main. Because right, we have okay. eight days to catch seven what's his days face, now, right? Seven. Yeah. Um, so we should uh, brain. be able to do that and then get back to it in time, right? What would the gods yeah, because it's only going to take one day of travel yeah. to go to the main so Let's just grotto, get, that out, so. get that out of the we, way. We, we can do a little bit, a little bit of that. that. All right. So. Everyone is here. Everyone here? We're going to go to... Now then. I, yes. Um, Here's where we are now. That's about apprehending the real kid. When's the last time you save? What lurks below? Um, I mean, it auto saves all the time, okay. so saving isn't a big issue. Uh, that's the Castle Town Kidnapper, apprehending the real kidnapper. Now. Okay, hmm. so I think we have a favor right here. To do that. One day, it sounds like the rock room in the bounty on it lives. Sounds like the locals are in dire straits. Seems this cave not only contains ore but jewels as well. There is much to see. Pray do not forget our primary objective is the bounty. Ensure you remain focused on the task at hand. Right, right. Now that focus. I think about it, we didn't ask the informant in Martyr about this place. Yeah, I was about to say. We didn't get oh, info fuck on yeah. it. I haven't, I haven't asked about that yet, so. Hold on. Let me think we it know over. Nothing about it. I'm glad she said something because I was, I was. Yeah, that's handy. I was about to, but that'd be good right. if I didn't remember it. Uh. Or if you Need didn't to have to... me to remember. Let's head there right I'll away. go to Fair Fair Square. And I'll go talk to the guy. What were the gods doing? Quiet, you I was, Yeah, it's so funny. I was literally just about to say that. And then I, I was surprised that she did. But I'm glad. Uh, that's, that's cool. It's nice to have a reminder to be yeah. like, just in case you forgot, this is a thing that exists. What you want go and about? get some information. Hi. So, let's buy a little bit. Ooh, can we learn about the castle, too? Ooh. For the main thing that will be going in there. Gun There's a monster in the castle grounds. Let's look at the Man Eater Grotto's one. 
I'm not gonna do a voice, I'm just gonna read it. Yeah. Southeast of the town is in Maneater's Grotto. Many people go there, yet startling few ever come back. Which is how the place got its name. Even in the place dwells the Alpha Rockworm Valmo. Now apparently is the leader of the Valmo pack, and rumor has it there are several of them there. Huh. You can even slay one, they'll call for another immediately. So oh. if you want to make an, make an end of it, you have to defeat them all at the same time. Hey, we have stuff for that. Apparently they're weak to ice. Ooh. They may be sturdy, but they're vulnerable to the cold. Other than that, there's also other critters like bugs and flower monsters. Be careful with those since they'll try to paralyze you. Paralysis, got it. You know about the village on the road to the cave? They sell equipment there that prevents paralysis. Pay yourself well and then go, is all I'm saying. All right. Cool. So ice will be the good stuff. Here's the real skinny. All right, and then just between you me, there's an unusual amount of monsters dwelling in the castle underground right now. Just see how they got there or why, I don't know, and I don't care to find out. <laughs> Even in my line of work, there's some information that's not worth losing your life over. The entire menagerie of monsters down there, but ones you really need to watch out for are the giant lizards and the wild hounds. Huh. Lizard-like beasts are a wily bunch. They lie in wait underwater and wait for people to turn their backs before they lunge out and attack. Oh. You know, the hounds will let out the piercing howl if they spot you and the noise really fires up their little friends. Don't underestimate either of these threats. Have you encountered their tactics with some tricks of your own? Maybe you'll gain the upper hand if you can put them to sleep. Oh, for you. Well, you know, it's not a business. Okay. Didn't really give me any weaknesses. Just said, put them to sleep. Okay, you cool. Just grab those other two because they're there. I guess. It's bothering me. <laughs> this is about the weather conditions and whatnot. Yeah. Okay. I'm also going strong in bad weather. Means I won't be able to exploit enemies' weaknesses in bad weather. Oh. Damn, but then again, fighting in such tough conditions should help us become stronger, right? Oh, more gem for you. Yeah, I don't see you a lot. Okay, has to force shell forecast will cost you, however. Okay, so Fortune Tales will tell you what the weather's going to be like if it's going to get saucy. And then... Ingredients. Here's the real skinny. There's shops of all sizes. You buy... All that stuff. Except the melon milk. Rock beans and fragrant spice. Sugar. Uh, okay. Kids selling plant seeds. Okay, cool. So just tell me where I can go to buy stuff. So you can't attack their weaknesses. That's interesting. But apparently you get extra experience if you beat them. If they're angry. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, in the, by weather. the weather. Yeah. yeah. That's what I was right. talking about. Well, we've done a lot of prep work stuff, a lot of hanging out with friends. There's still a dog I want to rescue, but I just got to wait for that one until they tell us to go rescue a dog. I don't know if you wanted to try looking for the anti paralysis stuff while it's still Idol's Day. Well, right. I think this is like you have he to. Was talking about. I think you have to go to the village that's nearby that we went to before. Uh. On the if it'll show in the world, it won't show you everything here on the world map. But yeah, it's in that little village stop out we did that we did before going mm -hmm. to the imps den, I believe. But that's gonna be a problem for future us. Yep. Because we'll go ahead and deal with whatever the hell it is that we do next. And next time. <sighs> We're chugging along. Yeah, we are. How's it do? How you doing here, buddy? Everyone Martin. betrayed you. <laughs> oh, God. I'm so sorry. Right all under your own this, nose. Right under all your this feet. Happening right under his own supervision and he he had no idea no i was gonna say he seemed too genuine to have you know involvement but that other guy we were sus immediately yeah i was like you asshole leave me yeah. alone God, corrupt <laughs> people yeah